Six is a now popular musical that tells the story of the six wives of King Henry VIII as they proclaim their stories, as they reclaim their stories along with their place in history. The musical has garnered a lot of popularity for its modern and feminist twist on the Tudor story. But the real story that inspired this musical is not as happy-go-lucky as you would think. So we're going to be talking about today on today's episode of the history behind the musical. The story of Six is based on the lives and experiences of the six queens who married King Henry VIII in England in the 16th century. Those queens were Catherine of Arden, Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, Anne of Cleves, Catherine Howard, and Catherine Parr. Catherine of Aragon was Henry's first wife. I'm Catherine of Aragon. I was the first wife of Henry VIII, and I was married to him for over 20 years. We had a daughter, Mary, but Henry wanted a son to inherit the throne, and so he left me when I couldn't provide one, because I had become barren, and he began to pine after younger women. He had our marriage annulled for that little... I'm not going to say it. Anne Boleyn was Henry's second wife, and she was famously executed for alleged treason and adultery, um, something most people will probably remember from the very popular movie The Other Boleyn Girl. I'm Anne Boleyn. I was the second wife of Henry VIII. He first had an affair with my sister before me, but I was able to catch his wandering eye. I only chose to accept his advances, though, once he left his wife and acknowledged me as queen. Unfortunately, I was beheaded after being accused of adultery and treason, but I am also the mother of Queen Elizabeth I, who became one of England's greatest monarchs, so... Hmm, there's that. Jane Seymour was Henry's third wife, and she gave birth to his only son, Edward VI, before she died from childbirth. I'm Jane Seymour the third wife of Henry VIII. I was the only one to give him a son, Prince Edward I. Many claim that I was his one true love, and many claim it's only because I gave birth to a son, but I believe Henry was truly sweet. I was never crowned because of plague in London where the coronation took place, and I died shortly after I gave birth to my son. Anne of Cleves was Henry's fourth wife, but the marriage was quickly annulled. My name is Anne, or Anna, if you're from Germany, where I'm from. I was the fourth wife of Henry VIII, but our marriage was annulled shortly after it began. (laughs) I was commanded to leave court and inform my husband reconsidered, claiming I was ugly. (laughs) Look at me. Do I look ugly to you? Catherine Howard was Henry's fifth wife. Much like Anne, she was accused of adultery and beheaded. Uh, Unlike Anne, she was definitely guilty. I'm Catherine Howard, the fifth wife of Henry VIII. But much like Anne, I was beheaded after being accused of adultery with the man I had wanted to marry in the first place. I met him when I was the initial Anne's maid of honor. I was also beheaded because of treason. I was only 19, for God's sake. Catherine Parr was was Henry's sixth and final wife, who he stayed married to until his death. Hi, Catherine Parr, sixth wife and final wife of King Henry VIII, and I outlived him. I was a scholar, a writer. I helped promote the education of women in England. Henry even made provisions for an allowance of £7,000 a year to support myself, and I remarried in secret four months after his death. Mm? These six women had very different experiences, but they all lived in a time of great political and social upheaval. The reign of King Henry VIII was marked by much religious conflict, war, political intrigue, and all the queens who were married to him often got caught up in these struggles. The musical Six tells the story of the six wives of Henry as they come together to form a girl pop group and reclaim their stories for themselves. Each wife is given a chance to tell her story and sing a song in her own style. The band's lead singer will be determined by this contest and for whoever they determined had the worst experience at the hands of their common husband. Six is a celebration of these six women and their legacies, and it shows how they continue to captivate and inspire people throughout history. The legacy of the six wives of Henry VIII continues to captivate people today. Their stories have been told and retold and retold and retold and countless.
in countless books, films, and TV shows. The musical Six has brought their stories to a new generation and has sparked renewed interest in the Tudor history. The Six Wives have also now become something of feminist icons as they stand up against the patriarchal society of their time, at least in the play, and fight for their own agency and power. They have inspired the women around the world to reclaim their own stories and take control of their own narrative. Today, Six continues to be a popular musical in innovating music and shining through the light of the lives of these fascinating women in the world they live. Six is beyond a musical. It's a celebration of the power and agency of women throughout history. The Six Wives and have Henry VIII were real women with real stories and their legacy continues to inspire real women today. The musical Six has given them a new platform to tell their stories. And that is all I have to say about the musical Six today and the history and the true story behind the musical. So please leave a comment below letting me know what you think and how much of Tudor history do you know? Um, other than that, like this video if you enjoyed the content or want more content. And if you do want more content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on my various social media to keep up with everything I'm doing as well as some fun facts that I like to give every so often. Make sure you check out my past videos on the history behind the musical to catch what other musicals I've talked about and keep up with the musicals that I will be talking about. And I think that's about all I have to say. So um, yeah, bye.